Around two weeks ago, the rally car was reintroduced to Trackmania. Just before the update dropped, I decided to go on a journey through older Trackmania games to check out previous iterations of the rally car in order to see how things developed over time. This is the history of the rally car in Trackmania. Uh, maybe some of you have also followed the Trackmania marathon that I did a while ago and that I'm also currently uploading to YouTube. And this was basically where it all started with. This is Trackmania Original. It's um, it's important to mention this is not the very first version of the game. Um, this is basically an updated version from 2005, but um, it's pretty much the same game, so I just chose this one now. And uh, yeah, this is how it looks like. This is how it sounds like. Just look at the, the button sounds, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Way to dang. Um, yeah, here we already seen the main menu. The rally car. This is how it looked like back in the days. Um, I think we also had multiple skins. Yeah, here we go. This is the rally car. There we go. This is the old school version. Holy moly. Eh? And honestly, the skins are... Mwah, mashallah. Super nice. Kind of clean. It also looks so nice for a 2003 game. Of course, I play on highest settings now, which wasn't really possible back in the days. And uh, yeah. Those are the skins. They really also look like ready skins, that's really nice. And I think we're gonna take a look at the official solo maps that we have uh, with the ready car in this game. So we're gonna ignore snow, we're gonna ignore desert, we are only gonna look at um, rally. But if you're interested in me playing this entire old game, then just check it out on my um, Grana TV YouTube channel. And it all starts in the C series, where we have the first eight rally maps. So let's just hop straight into it. Rally C1. And maybe alongside that, I can also explain you a little bit about the uh, rally car itself. Um, this is how it looks like in uh, camera one. And I still gotta say, like, this game looks really great. Like, when you play on high settings for a 2003 game, it's like an absolute juicer. And maybe for those of you that have, like, no clue about uh, the rally car at all. Um, the rally car is very sensitive. So when I play with keyboard, it's like, look at this. It will look like this when you play with keyboard later today as well. Like you will just constantly slide out. Like you will, unless you are the fastest tapper at UW, you will always slide. Look, like this is literally tapping as fast as I can. This is how it will look like. And this is how it will be for you guys today as well. <laughs> I mean, you will still have action keys, but uh, yeah, that's why um, steering with wheel is of course a lot better also with an analog device in general, because you can just do like smooth steering movements. And that's basically the, the most important thing to do about rally. Um, the second most important thing is that uh, when you release the acceleration, the rally car is not slowing down a lot. Like, I'm not accelerating right now. Look how far I roll. Like, it's I'm literally gonna finish with this speed. So it barely loses acceleration when you uh, don't accelerate. You just release and you still roll for like one year. It's not like a stadium. For example, uh, when you, also, you maybe know it when you go through a free wheel, you will quite quickly lose a lot of speed. But with the rally car, like it doesn't matter at all. And because of that, um, the strategy for rally is that uh, you don't really work with the release too much. You rather work with the brake. And since the rally car is, uh, as I said, sliding out very early, you can rarely ever drive turns full speed. Like if I try it, I will slide out and you see I will lose speed. So the strategy to drive uh, rally is mostly, if you are too fast for a turn, you just brake at the entry and then you try to go full speed no slide through the turn. That is what uh, rally is mostly driven like. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That is literally the rally car summarized. There is not more about this car. The thing is though, this smooth steering and the braking is very complex. So the time uh, differences on maps are insanely big because of that. And therefore, um, yeah, it might sound easy, but it is very... Uh, difficult to drive still. Alright, uh, first map done, let's just go to map 2 now. Um, rally car also had different surfaces in this game. Here we have dirt now, which will feel the same on um, the Trickmania 2020 version we're gonna get later today. And uh, it is very similar to roads. The thing is just that on dirt you have a little bit more grip. And reason for that is that um, the rally car actually has more grip when you have skid marks. Don't ask me why, it just is like that. And uh, on dirt you basically constantly have skid marks, so you always have more grip. That is pretty much it. Other than that, uh, dirt feels the same. What is still different though is uh, grass, because on grass um, you have less acceleration and also less grip. It's hard to show on this map now, but you see I'm not accelerating as much. And it might be the same today in Trackmania 2020, we don't really know to be honest. We will see. Um, also, I think 
Yeah, okay. Uh, in this old Trackmania game, it was not possible to go into water, for those of you that don't know. Like, when you go into water, you are literally dead. <laughs> You're falling into the void. So, yeah. That is pretty much all there is to know about Rally. That was the, the Rally crash course. And I didn't play the Rally car a lot in the past years, so uh, even I will need some time to get used to it again. So, yeah, let's just cruise through these easy maps. Honestly, I really like Rally car in Camp 3. It's kind of cool to like rush through these uh, sections here. It's kind of nice to be honest. Yeah, yeah, Trickmania United, which we will also check out later. Um, it was possible to go through water then and will also be the same for Trickmania 2020. But you can expect the rally car to behave the same as the snow car in water. In which um, it doesn't water bounce, it just like drowns like a submarine. Like, like a rock rather. It would be bad if a submarine drowns. <laughs> I think, uh, like, usually I still drive um, Ready Car in Cam 3, of course. I think for today, for the Discovery, I'm gonna try to play in Camera 1, so that you guys also get, like, a better feeling of how it feels like. Similar to how, to how I've done with the um, NBMX project, where I uh, also did the Discovery in Camera 1 and then the Hunting in Camp 3. I will probably do it the same today. Yeah, these dirt blocks are really cool. I don't know if they are part of the blocks that we're gonna get, but I don't think they made replicas of these kind of dirt blocks. I don't think so. Um, okay, next map. C4. Uh, offer times do exist in this game, yes. And also, for those of you that have never seen this game, when you get the offer time in this game, um, something really great happens. <laughs> It's kind of hard. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it too much. But let's just say there is a pretty cool sound effect when you um, get an offer time. So let me maybe uh, look for a map that I don't have AT on yet, and I can show it to you then because it's it's really fucking great. Oh. Yeah. Hello, guys. Kanadi is the name. Pro player is the game. Bing. Bing. Shortcut. <laughs> FWO, guys. FWO Riolu is my name. But yeah, I won't spend too much time in this game now. As I said, if you want to see a full playthrough of me playing this game, also with uh, Desert and with Rally, then check out the video on my second YouTube channel. Alright, C4, done. Let's go. And C5 uh, is very interesting because C5 is gonna nicely showcase the castle blocks, which will be, uh, which we will also get in the Trackmania 2020 game now. Uh, the thing is though, as you can see, the castle blocks in the old versions of the game all had the road surface. But the ones we're gonna get in Trackmania 2020 are, at least from what we have seen so far, are all dirt instead. I don't know why uh, they decided that, but that's just how it is. And yeah, the castles are of course really cool. I really like them. I like the older versions, the new versions also look like really cool. Looks like Hogwarts, you know. Also maybe, uh, like I know I don't have an input uh, overlay now, but if you maybe look at my wall or at my arm movements, you see I'm like always only steering like very, very gently. Like no rapid steering movements at all. You don't need that in Rally. At least not in OG Rally. I don't know how it will be with the new eyes and plastic and stuff, but in OG Rally, like it was literally smooth steer only and you never really steer more than like 60-70% or anything. Check DMs again. Okay, Ender, what are you cooking? Uh, yeah, Ender. Fantastic. Is that... Uh, okay. <laughs> Interesting, Ender. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to the game. So... So, next map. Another dirt map here. What was also very iconic about... Um, about these old rally maps is these kind of wood bridges over water. And these wood bridges are actually kind of scary because, uh, as I said already, when you go into water, you are just dead. So if you fall down these bridges, then you literally have to restart your run. Or respawn, of course. Ah! Man, spammy guy! I've, I'm, I'm dead because of you! I wanted to read your message! Fuck! Anyway, what did you say? Hello, Nico. Why is there an arrow pointing on your face? Does this mean you're Bob92? Um, yes. Pretty much. 
But I sadly don't have a slow-mo t-shirt, so I uh, was wearing the, the booster one instead. <laughs> Alright, um, next map, C7. Ping. Another one which nicely showcases how uh, beautiful the castle blocks are, as you can see. Ah, it's just nice. But the blocks were very basic, like, you know, like, there were not a lot of different castle blocks. So, um, yeah, that is definitely gonna be changed later today, I'm pretty sure. Ah, okay, okay. We found him, yeah, let's go. Hello, guys. My name is Bob, also known as Nico from Dresden. I'm Bob from Berlin. <laughs> Bob from Berlin. Berlin International Bob. Bob International Gaming, basically. <laughs> look at the trees, by the way. Oh my god, look at the trees. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, the trees didn't really age that nicely. Holy shit, what is that? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was a slide out. This is something that this is something sliding out is something. If you play ready today, it will happen to you a quadrillion times. I can promise you that much. <laughs> All right, uh, one more map in the um, yeah in the first pair of ready maps. There's another eight maps afterwards, or like nine in theory because there's also like a black map you could say. And this one is also really cool because this is like an off-road map, where you have to go like uh, you know over obstacles and XTD and ha ha ha. And these were honestly really cool back then. I loved those type of maps. Like, they, they really bring, like, a bit of a rally aspect. Always my favorite ones. Hop, hop, thing. Bing. The engine sounds, yeah. Funny thing is, uh, back in the first Trick Mania, um, the, the engine only had one gear. So, you don't really have, like, any gear shifts or anything. It just sounds, like, terrible, basically. <laughs> Alright, with that we finished the first uh, 8 maps and now we're gonna go over to the F-series which brings another um, 8 of the rally maps. And these maps I didn't play so far, so we will get to hear the Orphro Metal sound. So once I get close to finishing this map, I all need you guys to pay attention. Because the sound when you get an Orphro Metal is just insane. So let's just focus up. I once had the world record on this map, so... I do know what I'm doing here. I even found a shortcut on this map here. Like this shortcut here was literally found by me. Granadi is the name. And these kind of bridges here are also very scary, especially when you play with keyboard. Also here another card, you can skip the hills. Like I kind of know all of these old Trackmania games because that's what started my Trackmania journey. Guys, are you ready? The finish is up the hill. Are you ready for the sound? For those of you that know, prepare your guitar. Achtung! 3, 2, 1! Oh, mashallah, banger. Absolute banger song. The funny thing is, you get that literally for every single offer medal. Every single offer medal, basically. Um, ah, true, this. Listen to the music. Yeah, it's honestly great. It's a great song. Absolute banger. All right, there we go. Uh, but yeah, you also have different sounds for the other cars. Like for example, we also have uh, snow in this game, of course, and also um, desert. So uh, yeah, some really cool sound effects here. Alright, let's quickly finish the maps here, I would say, and then um, we are gonna hop into the next game where this uh, environment was showcased. And yo, El Diablo! <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Welcome. When is the update? Uh, you literally have a huge-ass timer on the screen, my friend. Shortcut. Bang. Bing. So, this is also a map. I, I might still have the world record on this, actually. I'm not sure. I'm not really up to date with Rally too much. 
because I also found a new shortcut on this game. So in theory, honestly, in theory, I found multiple new Nadeo shortcuts. I still wait for my FWO invitation. I don't know, like, I don't know who I need to contact, but like, hello? Also, shortcut thing. It's always faster to skip. This is basically the prime time uh, AO8. This is when Adeo started to build these kind of things. And it ended up in today's AO8 maps. Isn't that great? Alright, Achtung! Achtung! Everybody, stop! Halt still! Oh, banger. Banger, banger, banger. Alright, uh, but yeah, let's continue. Let's just uh, play through the remaining maps. This one also, like this map, um, really nicely shows like how beautiful rally maps can be. Like, I don't know why, but this just looks like art. Or, uh, am I the only one? This just looks like art to me. It's just beautiful, <laughs> kinda. Also, fun fact, in this game, uh, in the first Rekmena game, you had not only one, not two, not three, not four different cameras. You literally had seven different camera perspectives you could play with. So of course we had camera 1, we had camera 2, camera 3, all normal. Then camera 4, where you drive like this. And this is actually um, a cam that, re that many um, rally players uh, like. Because it actually is kind of nice to drive like this. It looks a bit weird, but it's actually nice to drive with this. But then uh, it continues. Cam 5. Don't ask me, I don't know. Like, what they put as a normal camera, they literally just put as troll cup of the days nowadays. I, I don't know, like, as I said, don't ask me, okay? Don't ask me. <laughs> it's like, but the thing is, there is one more, guys. Achtung, are you ready? Camera 6. Oh, wait, this one is not that special. Okay, never mind. It's basically cam 1, but even further away. Okay. I thought it's a giga dank one. <laughs> My bad. And then, of course, you technically also have uh, camera 7. So yeah, kinda, um, kinda XTB how many cameras there are. But there's 8 and 9 as well. Ach du Kacke! Ach du Heiliger, what is Nadeo? Who wants to play like this? What is this? Ach du Scheiße! Okay, never mind. So maybe there are even more cameras. Most normal camera. <laughs> okay, what is camera 9 gonna do? Great. Bro, I don't see where to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro. Looks competitive, guys. Ach du Kage. Alright, but yeah, enough of that. Uh, yeah, the piano in the background is going like super crazy. Guys, this is what you are gonna sound like when you... Uh, when you're gonna have to play Rally today with action keys. This is literally, like, if you are able to play this IRL, you will be good with action keys. If not, the mat is calling. Better throw your keyboard away. Nah, all good, El Diablo, all good. <laughs> okay, let's just finish this map now. Because we still got two other games to uh, check out afterwards. Although this one was like the like rally after this game never really got changed a lot. Like afterwards we're gonna take a look at uh, Trackmania United Forever, which is pretty much just a rework of this. Nothing has changed. I think a few more blocks, but that's literally it. And um, yeah, then we're also gonna look at uh, Trackmania 2. But Trackmania 2 is even more lazy because they literally just ported the car into the game without the actual environment or anything. Beep, 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 beep. Beautiful sound, beautiful sound. Alright, six more, uh, no, four more maps to go. Five, five. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Fun fact also, um, as I taught you guys earlier, uh, in this game, when you go into water, um, then the car just dies. But this was fixed uh, in Trickmania United, so that you could just go through water normally. And because of that, a lot of um, bugs, uh, not bugs, but uh, cuts, a lot of cuts appeared on these old Nadeo maps. Because you know, these old Nadeo maps were ported into um, Trickmania United Forever as well, but they had like a shit ton of cuts because of that. 
And this map, for example, can be finished within like 20 seconds or so. By just cutting it a lot. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Perfect. Four more to go. Let's see. We have another off-road map here. This one is once again really cool. Shows like the the nature aspect of the of the car or of the environment. Yeah, it's really cool, like, even though this game is 20 years old, if you play it on, like, a modern PC with high settings, it still looks so good. Like, it's so... it aged so well, to be honest. Aged like fine wine. Also, shortcut. Hill climb racing in Trackmania. Ping, ping. I know, it's just a beautiful game. Like, it's a game I have many memories with. It's also the first Trackmania game that I played, because it's basically the game... It's basically the game that brought me into Trackmania, because... I don't know, like 18 years ago, 19 years ago, I don't even know. My dad went to buy this game and uh, Young Grenady was hooked and that's also the first Trickmania game I played because of that. Ah, banger. So a lot of memories with this, I also know this game, I know like every single map in this game and everything. And uh, yeah, it's just great. As I said, like if you want to see a full playthrough of this uh, Trickmania game, a 100% one, to be exact. Um, check out my YouTube channel. I got like an 8 hour video about that. It was 6 hours, 8 hours, I don't even remember. Yeah, here we have another castle map. And this one... Um, Softy, don't ban me please. Uh, this one is also really beautiful again. And these kind of maps we will also be able to build uh, in Trickmania 2020. With a bit of a different look, of course. But, um, yeah. Fun fact, this map also had uh, insanely big cuts because of the, the water update. Bit of a pathfinding map here almost. Alright, two more to go guys. Two more to go. Do, 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 do. In theory, there's also um, a rally, uh, yeah, G map, which is basically like a black map difficulty. Um, but yeah, to unlock that, I would need to um, play also some other maps. So we're not gonna do that today. Yeah, nice, uh, nice line there by the ghost. <laughs> Full on slide out. Ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna be you guys in less than two hours. I hope you are hyped. <laughs> Hello guys, it's AO8. But you see like many of these maps were like either you drive on castles or you drive like off-road. That was kind of the, the theme of Rally back then. Uh, hop, 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 hop. Slide out. Hello, guys. Did I beat every Trickmania game? Yes. Not on 100%, but I played all in the marathon that I did. Shortcut. FWO. Alright. One more map for this beautiful game here. The final one, and then we're gonna hop over into the ping, ping, next ping, game. Ping, 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 ping. Also, Flowey with a gift sub going to NJ. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. Hop, hop. Oh. Oh. And Slumek now with a brand new Prime Sub as well. Thank you, Slumek. Alright. 
In theory, this map also has a huge shortcut, I think. I think you can basically just turn around after you get this checkpoint, but I'm not sure and I want to finish, so I'm not going to do it now. Okay, yeah, we could have had. <laughs> we could have turned around for sure. There's no checkpoint for this entire part here. Alright, and with that, it's time to say bye-bye to Trackmania Original. So that is the first iteration of the rally car, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, really, really cool map, I would say. Uh, cool, cool game. Really fun. Hold right-click. Ah, I'm not gonna do it now, level code, it's fine. It's fine. We don't need to play uh, all games, it's just to showcase the, the game. Ah, yeah, so this was the first iteration of uh, the rally car back in the very first Trackmania. And then the second time the uh, car has appeared was in Trackmania Original, five years later from... Uh, not Original, uh, Trackmania United Forever, five years later. And uh, I would say we are gonna check that out as well now. Ah, there it is. Okay, here we are. So this is Trackmania United Forever, already quite old as well now, uh, as I said, from 2008 originally. And uh, this game basically uh, brought together all environments that were in Trackmania at that uh, time. So we have basically uh, seven environments in this game. We have uh, Stadium, of course, which came from uh, Trackmania Nations ESWC. Then we have Island, um, Bay and Coast from Trackmania Sunrise. And of course, Desert, Rally and Snow from Trackmania Original. So this is basically... Um, yeah, basically all the environments were remade into this game and brought together, which was a really cool thing, of course. Alright, uh, let's maybe just play the first map of every series. Let's go over to Rally um, B1, so basically to the Rally Green series, you could say. And let's go over to uh, this map. And here you can see a little bit more um, off-road again. But as I said, like the game looks a little bit better still. And other than that, it's the same. Also, please ignore the ghosts that... Uh, that Samnadeo goes south, uh, we're just racing against Sonic. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Nadeo, good focus. <laughs> I have way more stupid skins though. I think I got them all when I uh, played the marathon as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hello guys. <laughs> Mm. Boah. Army car. What is blood doing? <laughs> Most normal uh, Trackmania skins, guys. Most normal Trackmania skins. Alright, anyway, uh, we go back to normal, though. <laughs> so, uh, B1 finished, so let's go over to Rally C1. Peng, 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 and let's go. Do, 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 do. My name is Nadeo and I play a car game with a bike. But this is and yeah, here we can see it now, you can just go through water now. And as I said, you just sink like a uh, like a rock. So it's the same as with the snow car pretty much. And yeah, this is how it looks like when you play rally with keyboard. It's just way too sensitive, it's very mud, it's XCD. You will have to tap a lot. Uh, at least that's how it was of course. Now we have action keys, so you want to use them pretty much all the time. And yeah. Alright. Rally D1. This one's a little bit more of a castle map again. And uh, one new thing are... Uh, no, the tunnels are not new, I think. That's it. Like, in general, this is basically the same again. Just more blocks. Peng, booster, jump out, peng. Uh, this is why this is why keyboard is way worse on this key these kind of maps because even when you tap, you see I constantly have skid marks and I slide. Like it's just like super XCD basically. Tap tap tap. <laughs> Holy moly, sir, tap a lot, yeah. Oh, a landing bug. <laughs> yeah, I hope these kind of things are also fixed. But they said they also fixed the hitbox of the things, so it should be fine. And Adako Tamrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
30. What, what has Nadeo cooked here? I don't remember these kind of maps, to be honest. Shortcut. Kanchika, it would help me a lot if you would post just the message again instead of Donor Wall five times. Then I could maybe read it again. Do you think I'm gonna tap out, scroll up now just to read your message? <laughs> just post the message again. <laughs> Weren't these kind of uh, skins from Kripke? Um, not all of them. But yeah, the thing is, you uh, basically in this game you had an in game um, browser where people could like create websites and sell stuff with the in game currency, coppers. Like sell skins, sell maps, and yeah. All of these kind of things. Yeah, alright, uh, alright, Diablo. I am ready. Shortcut. <laughs> but I mean you see it like uh, the game looks better more tracks of course other than that um, nothing new except except for a few blocks so the physics have not been changed at all except for the water thing and that is pretty much it wait why am I ahead of my PB don't tell me I'm gonna beat my PB with keyboard what is this Ain't no way. <laughs> Mud is falling. A lot more trees as well, that's true. Also the trees are a little bit more beautiful. <laughs> We're gonna lose so much time. I'm probably not gonna PB because I lose too much time in the last uh, seconds of the map. No, don't overtake me. I'm just a keyboard Andy. No, <laughs> no. Ah, he crashed as well. Boy, we have a race, guys. Tap, tap, tap. No, I lost it. Fuck. <laughs> but only in this last turn, you see the difference between keyboard and wheel. Like, I lost like half a second in this one turn. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, yeah, there we go. So this is a rally car in Trackmania United Forever, where it was also played the most, I think. Um, I mean, people are still playing this game till today and uh, yeah after this um, in theory the rally car uh, appeared the next time in the Trackmania um, DS and Trackmania Wii games um, but there the cars had completely different physics the games were also not made by Nadeo actually um, so we are gonna leave them out because it's something completely different basically and uh, after Trackmania United Forever the rally car in this form um, only appeared in Trackmania um, 2, or like in Mania Planet, as you can call it. And uh, it was basically part of the 15th anniversary update of Trackmania, so it was in 2018. And um, the thing is, though, um, that update was not very well received by the community. And the reason for that mainly was that um, it's not like they brought in entire environments like they do right now, or like, you know, like an updated car with uh, a shit ton of new blocks or anything. They literally just ported the car into the game, or like all of the cars from Trackmania United, and that is it. So we cannot even play like the rally environment, we can only play the rally cars on like uh, other tracks now basically. And then you can choose the rally car, you can play with the rally car, and that is literally it. This is the, this was the entire uh, update of the 15th anniversary. <laughs> and yeah, that's literally it. Like. Yeah, <laughs> there's not much more to show. You can basically play it, you can build maps with it as well, but you can just not really do anything other than that. Peng, peng. Fantastic wall ride. <laughs> yeah, that's literally it. So they didn't bring in any blocks, they didn't bring in anything. It's literally just the cars in the game and yeah, good luck, have fun. Also like no campaign or anything with at least like, let's say stadium maps that were made for this. No, it's literally just the cars. So, yeah, I'm quickly gonna finish this map, and other than that, we don't really have to show any more because, yeah, the car was there in Trackmania 2, but that is literally it. Ah, <laughs> had a beautiful engine sound as well. We all love it. Ping. Yeah, it doesn't look that beautiful. The cars also didn't have skins, of course. I mean, we don't even have that right now. Where am I? 
So, yeah. A bit of a disappointing uh, 15th anniversary update. And ever since, we haven't seen anything new uh, regarding the rally car. That is literally all we got ever since uh, it came out. So, oh, that's why um, the rally car coming to Trickmania 2020 now is, of course, quite um, a big thing. Because, you know, physics changed, new physics as well, on like wood, plastic, ice. We will also get. Yeah, hello, guys. And uh, we will also get uh, new blocks and stuff. It's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> it's like like showing this now at the ending of the history of the rally car is like super disappointing to be honest. There's like there's just like nothing to talk about. It's literally just this. <laughs> it's really kind of boring. So surely I can make the wall right now. Boah. Zack. And zack. Oh, shit. Zack and zack. Eh. <laughs> was better before, to be honest. Yeah. Peng and peng. Yo. And there we go. That is pretty much it. <laughs> that is pretty much all there is to show. Wait, I have the world record on this map. Zack. Granati pro player. <laughs> So yeah, that is the history of the rally car, ladies and gentlemen. Um, all of the iterations we have seen so far, and yeah, today um, we are gonna get in. Oh yeah, true, actually, semi-fying. Only one hour away, we will finally get um, a new interpretation of 